In the maker community as a whole, molding is an extremely powerful tool that is being underutilized in countless projects, invention prototyping, and micromanufacturing that could be helping to produce a virtually unlimited amount of products and inventions. While 3D printing is an amazing tool that has been heavily utilized by the maker community in the last few years, molding is the bridge from rapid prototyping to rapid manufacturing. In most cases, 3D printing can produce the first prototype of an object faster than the pipeline process of mass manufacturing. But once a duplicate prototype is requested, the problems of speed and 3D printing duplicate objects become apparent. Let's look at this scenario. A skilled maker dad has a great setup for 3D printing, and his daughter wants him to print a flaming skull found online. Using a state-of-the-art, open-source 3D printer makes this request a few simple button presses away from granting his daughter's wish. As many 3D printing enthusiasts and experts know, 3D printing is not an instant process, but overall can produce the first part faster than the start to finish of mass manufacturing. With the 3D printed part completed, this maker dad was able to transform bits into atoms as a gift to his daughter in a little over seven hours, but now his daughter wants another one. Instead of taking another seven hours to print a duplicate, this wise maker dad decides to cast a silicon mold from the 3D printed part. He will then use his new innovation, the Rotomake, to rotational mold a hollow replica of the 3D printed part using a two-part air cure resin. This allows the duplicate to be created in 10 minutes or less once in the Rotomake and at a fraction of the cost compared to a solid molded object. And if his daughter requested nine more for her friends, it would only be 10 minutes per object, resulting in a comparative difference of 90 minutes versus 63 hours in respect to rotational molding and 3D printing. Hi, this is Mark from To Make. I'm here today to introduce you to the Rotomake, a spin casting machine that I designed, built, engineered to fill a need that I had. I had made some salesman samples up of a large rotational cast part that the customer wanted a smaller version for his salesman to take. We were able to 3D print a sample, the first one up, took about 12 hours to print. After that, the customer wanted 10 more and we needed a way to relatively fast reproduce this part. After research online, there was no desktop rotational machines available to be able to do this. So you can print your 3D part, you can take any, really any part and make a silicone mold off of it and be able to with a two-part epoxy fill your mold stick it in the machine and spin it and it'll spin it in both directions to allow the epoxy to cure on the outside to make a hollow part and here here is the rotomake a uh, small desktop rotational casting machine takes a small footprint up um, it's all made out of quarter inch melamine laser cut precision laser cut and with a nut and bolt fastening with with tabs here makes a very strong sturdy frame reinforcements where it's needed um, and it uses we use a 12 volt gear motor here on the side that directly drives the major axis um, along with that it comes over and runs off of an o-ring belt here that's fixed walks around this one which turns your minor axis along with that you only have one motor to worry about we're doing a three to one gear ratio um, from major to minor axis to allow full coating for it's completely random when it turns. Um, fully variable speed. Different molds are going to take different speeds. It's going to take a little trial and error on each individual mold. Um, do that. The mold is the saddle here that we have designed is fully adjustable to allow you to center the weight of your mold on both axes. Um, this saddle will slide up and down to accommodate pretty much virtually any size of mold and weight on there. We have precision 608 bearings on all pivot, on all places that need to turn. Um, so it should be, it's a very smooth, smooth spinning and long life. Hi, I'm Steve from CME CNC and we make the Rostock Max and Orion Delta 3D printers. First time I saw the Rotomake, uh, I was really impressed with the low cost aspect of it. It's really cool to give people the ability to reproduce what they invented on a 3D printer. So a person can take that model they just printed 
and, and say, oh, I like this, they can do the inverse, print the mold, and then begin roto-molding the plastic parts from that much more quickly than 3D printing another model. Hey, my name is Brian. Um, I'm the owner of Laser Accents in Goshen, Indiana. Mark Van Boss, he's my brother. He's, he's always had creative ideas and it's always interesting to see what he's going to come up with. And li I like to help him with those projects too. He came with the Rotomake idea and I just saw that it was really a good fit for 3D printing. I can see it being uh, something that would enable you to run small production runs. You print the original, make a mold, and then you uh, roto mold it and you can run small quantity production. This is kind of a bridge between printing a one-off one and having an injection mold made and making tens of thousands of them. I have this engraving business and laser cutting we've been doing for 26 years. It's just kind of another job for us to run through. So it's not like it's gonna be really a big deal. We have three lasers, we can cut these things. I'm John Oley from CMECNC.com and uh, we build some of the craziest 3D printers out there, the Rostock Max and Orion Delta 3D printers. We first learned about the Rotomake from Mark at our makerspace here in Indiana. Um, one of the first things that he brought to the group was his rotational molding experience and he had an idea for a way to make a machine that people could build themselves and put on their desk. We kind of got together and started talking about how you could 3D print your part and then use that to make your casting for your mold and then you could then roto mold uh, your duplicates. I think the roto make is going to be a pretty good addition to the maker movement and the DIY crowd because the guys that are out there that have the 3D printers that know how to already rapid prototype, get their first designs done, go through the iterations, make the changes that they need. Um, it's going to be another tool in their arsenal to go from their concept to a production environment where they can actually produce parts in quantities to fill orders um, for some of their inventions and ideas. Hi, my name is Mike Foppel with the Illuminati Corporation. We actually manufacture and produce all sorts of different uh, chemicals, silicones, urethanes, epoxies for mold making and casting for a wide variety of industries. When Mark first introduced the Rotomate to us, I was very impressed, number one, with the entry level price point, but also the versatility of a desktop hollow caster. There's really nothing like this out in the industry, and I think it's going to make a very positive impact for, for our industry and people that want to do small parts in hollow casting. We need your help to put Rotomake on the desktop of all makers, craftsmen, artists, and business owners who understand the creative power of rotational casting. Helping us achieve our funding level will allow us to acquire quantity pricing to deliver the Rotomake to everyone at an affordable price.